Hi, allow me to introduce you to IBF DigiLabs, the flagship company of IBF Net Group based in Singapore. This one-year-old company creates value through innovation. You can call it the kitchen of the group, where all technology-driven solutions are developed in line with the mission of the group to develop a halal ecosystem, a miniature Islamic economy. IBF Net stands for the Islamic Business and Finance Network, which is the maiden online community in the field of Islamic business and finance founded in 1999 by Dr. Muhammad Ubaidullah, the India-born Islamic economist who currently serves the Islamic Development Bank Institute as a lead research economist. IBF Net is a pioneer in designing and offering certification programs in e-learning mode through its online academy Triple IBF, the International Institute of Islamic Business and Finance. Triple IBF offers the world's only accredited certification program for the Zakat Professional, accredited by FAA Malaysia. It has a composite team comprising experienced professionals who possess deep domain knowledge in Islamic finance as well as blockchain technology and AI, and young dreamers with lots of energy and sky-high ambitions. Our blockchain solutions include Recurrence. This is a platform for recurring and relationship-based transactions. Benevolence. This is a platform to integrate donations with volunteering, exchange transactions, and with social cryptos. The IBF ecosystem currently uses broadly two types of cryptos, the IBFX or IBF Exchange and the IBFS or IBF Esteem. Our blockchain solutions also include microfinance. This is a platform for cut-based loans with multiple options. Provenance. This is a platform with RFID tagging to ensure provenance of sacrificial animals for Eid al-Adha. We are also exploring the possibility of developing a platform for humanitarian assistance which involves voucher-based assistance. Our AI-based solutions are focused on the Islamic social finance sector. IRSHAD stands for Intelligent Robo Sharia Advisor, which is currently equipped to address most queries related to zakat as a third pillar of Islam and as a foundational economic institution. Other AI-based solutions include valuation and identification of work of assets with development potential, identification and classification of zakat beneficiaries, prediction models for micro-small enterprise failure, credit risk management, sentiment analysis for community towards Islamic projects and organizations, and finally, impact measurement and scoring in light of the Sustainable Development Goals SDGs and the goals or makazit of Sharia MAS. Project on impact measurement and scoring seeks enhancement over existing initiatives in this space. First, the Impact Reporting and Investing Standards, IRIS, which helps standardize measuring and reporting created by the Global Impact Investing Network. IRIS provides a catalog of generally accepted performance metrics. It has developed 621 metrics so far focused entirely on SDGs. Second, Refinitiv provides ESG scores for companies in 76 countries based on official company disclosure on environmental, social and governance metrics or ESG metrics. It currently uses 450 metrics. Project Confluence of IBFnet is based on in-house research which indicates major areas of alignment between the SDGs and the goals of Sharia or MAS. The five-fold classification of MAS can be seen to cover all the 17 SDGs. For example, SDGs 1 to 6 may all be mapped to protection of self or nafs. SDG 16 to 17 may be mapped to protection of faith. SDG 11 to 15 may be mapped to protection of posterity and SDG 8 to 10 may be mapped to protection of property. The process of measuring and scoring impact from standpoint of MAS involves four major steps. In step one, the universe of metrics as under IRIS is now expanded to include specific metrics identified in light of MAS. The process of identification of such metrics involves text analysis of available literature on the subject. Step two, involves design of questions to measure impact with respect to all selected metrics. Step three 
involves building a database with respect to sector industry performance for such metrics. Step 4 involves comparison of performance of given project against sector performance and assignment of a score to the given project based on its relative performance. More specifically, the operationalization of the sequential processes involves doing a global search for project-related information, adding information from project owner, performing text analysis for identifying impact areas, identifying and combining metrics relevant to impact areas, collecting data related to metrics from project owner, comparing project data with industry sector data, combining to produce a score that essentially reflects project, involves conversion of impact of a given project measured against specific metrics, for example carbon savings, into social cryptos based on verified data. Projects can earn or liquidate their cryptos at the platform to alter their impact score and risk return impact profile. Essentially, it is a B2B solution enabling projects to maintain a balanced risk return impact profile in a transparent way.